What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, and Slime Sean, back again here with another roster update investment video. We're hitting this one a little bit earlier this week. I'm going to get our roster update investment video out in enough time so y'all can actually get in and get some more of these cards. And then later on in the week, we're going to have a more roster update prediction video. If you're wanting to go through and get in some of those pre-orders on some of those guys that are a bit more of a lock to go diamond, we're going to have that coming a little bit later this week. So if you're wanting to make some subs investing in this week's roster update, here are the guys I'm looking at again. These are guys who are a little bit more under the radar, not as high price wise. You can actually come in and invest in them. So, uh, for example, somebody like Zach Wheeler, who's already covering around that 5K stub mark, you're not really investing in him ahead of time in terms of buying the cards directly. So we're not going to be mentioning someone like that in this video. Of course, as always, if you enjoy these roster update prediction videos, definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let's go ahead and hop into the first guy that we're looking at this week. So the first guy we're looking at here right now, his price is actually a little high 4K. He was 3,500 just when I was looking earlier. So he's definitely fluctuating quite a bit, but that's Carlos Correa. We did just have the Father's Day Conquest map drop as I'm doing this video. So look for the prices of some of these gold cards to be dropping down as a really good time to come in and get some investments out for the roster update correa though he's been absolutely on fire over the last couple weeks he's playing as good as baseball as he's played since that 27 2016 and 2017 season so he's been playing really well could definitely be due for some upgrades to his offensive attributes his fielding is already relatively high and he's an 84 so he just needs that very slight bump uh, for a diamond of the people we're talking about today Correa is definitely the most lock so to speak to become a diamond of course nobody is a lock you don't know what's gonna happen we saw what happened with Lance Lynn but if there is someone who is a lock this week it's definitely Carlos Gray he's been crushing the ball and again a little bit expensive right now he's actually gone up to 4k he was a little bit cheaper earlier but I think you can come in and probably get them a little bit cheaper than that before this next roster update. Next guy we're looking at here, Joe Musgrove. He's a little bit more on the inexpensive end, currently selling around 3K on the sell now. So if you if you pick him up and he goes diamond, that's a 2K profit per, uh, that's pretty solid stuff right there in 84. So very close to getting to that diamond threshold as well. And his last start on Thursday was really good. He had a couple rough outings before that. He pitched last Thursday, was really, really good. Looked solid in that start. Seven innings, four hits, no runs allowed. And he should also probably get another start before the roster update as well. If he can get that start in by Wednesday, that's going to count for this next roster update. So be on the lookout for Joe. If he has another good start in his next outing upcoming, he could be looking really solid to be getting an upgrade. And his price is going to be going up. You could even play uh, an investment beforehand here, picking him up now and then waiting for his next start if he has that great start his price probably instantly jumps up to that 5k mark right before that next roster update one thing to note about joe he is playing a little bit above what his proof field stats say he should be playing at uh he's had a very dominant season so far his proof field numbers say maybe he shouldn't be as good as that but he's still been going out he's still been pitching really well but i would definitely be watching joe musgrove's next start because that could honestly be kind of the make or break for if he's getting up to that next tier or not next guy we're talking about here alex verdugo he's been on fire recently it's not a five game hitting streak three of those games have been multi-hit games he's really started to heat it up overall and honestly could probably use a boost to both his contact and his power versus righties maybe some slight adjustments to his uh, contact and power versus lefties as well but really crushing the ball versus righties so far this year, especially over the last couple of weeks. When we look at his price, only 2,600. So relatively inexpensive for guys that have a solid chance at getting to that diamond tier. Less hype than a lot of the other live series guys around that 83 to 84 range, which is why I like Verdugo. And he's hot right now. If he keeps up that pace and he keeps crushing the ball, he's certainly due to get some upgrades. As you can see, he has that fielding base, right? He has the diamond defense, 84 fielding, 86 arm, 99 accuracy. That's propping up his overall a lot as it is. He's really just lacking the offensive stats. And so far this season, especially over the last couple of weeks, he's really been crushing the ball on that Red Sox team that's been surprising a lot of people. Verdugo has been one of the surprises for some people as well. So he definitely is someone who I can see getting some firm upgrades. He doesn't need much. Just an 83. We can see plus three contact and power versus lefty. 
that already gets him to an 84. So he's right on the edge of being an 84, super close to being an 85 and getting to that diamond tier and really kind of flying under the radar so far based off his price uh, and how he's positioned in the market. Before we hop into our silver upgrades, another guy to look at. I know he's been he's been he's been the talk of the town so far this year with how poor he's been playing, but Francisco Lindor, he's starting to heat it back up. He's batting 277 with four homers in the month of June. He just had a two homer game the other day. We saw more of this month to go as well. Definitely the best month he's had in a Mets uniform, which is not saying much at all because he's been absolutely trash. But obviously, he has the track record of being a diamond and being a diamond caliber player. So if he's able to turn it back around and get back on track, he's someone who's going to get those upgrades back that he lost relatively quickly. Right now, hovering around 1100 to quick sell on the sell now. So you can essentially get him for risk-free because at this point, I definitely don't think he's going to be dropping back down to being a silver at any time as he started to heat it back up so far this month. But could start to get those upgrades and be trending back up to diamond really cheap right now as well he continues up this hot pace that hype is certainly going to grow on him and even if he doesn't get those upgrades his price and value is going to upgrade as that hype for him potentially going diamond continues to increase now our first silver to gold guy we're looking at next guy we're looking at here silver to goals a bit more of a long shot but Makata right now 156 on the sell now so really really cheap he is a 76 he needs a plus four to get up to gold but he's been playing really well this year kind of sneakily playing well in that white Sox lineups personally i think he's playing some of the best baseball he's played in his career he's not doing anything that just jumps out the page at you he's not dominating in one category but he's really just playing really solid across the board and I think that could maybe get him some slight upgrades into essentially all of his kid hitting categories. He's playing really good, solid baseball so far. If he keeps that up, I definitely think he's going to get some upgrades at this point. And really, the big thing is he's only 156 stubs. So he's a long shot. He's a bit more of a long-term guy. But I really like how he's playing so far this year. And I even like better that I can invest a lot in him at 150 stubs and not really have any risk going on there the most i'm risking is 50 stubs per card that's not really too much of a risk right there last guy we're looking at here chris taylor another guy who's kind of flying under the radar pretty sneaky player on that dodgers team 78 overall so just needs the plus two get to that gold tier threshold and if you look at his price right now selling for 470 stubs on the sell now so if he goes gold you're just about doubling up your stubs that you invested in him when you look at his attributes the defense does hurt him it does bring him down makes it a little bit tougher for him and he has the good attributes versus lefties he's obviously hitting well against lefties this year per usual but he's hitting better versus righties this year than he has over the rest of his career especially with the power numbers uh, he has more homers versus righties this year than he does lefties. so he's starting to starting to adjust and be able to hit righties especially for power a little bit better and honestly that a slight boost to his contact and power versus right that could be all that he needs to get up to that 80 overall get that gold tier get that plus two overall points and he's playing you know playing on the dodgers he's well protected in that lineup he gets good pitches to hit he's been hitting so far this year if he keeps it up he's got a solid shot of getting that plus two and again 470 subs really really a lot of room to capitalize and grow your stubs with a guy like chris taylor of course there's going to be more risk right whenever there's more reward there's going to be more risk but i really like what i'm seeing from chris taylor so far this season so those are the guys i'm looking at as investment upgrades this week guys so i really think have potential to get uh upgrades and also are at a stub price that makes it worthwhile to invest go ahead and let me know down in the comment section who are lo you looking at my favorite part of these roster of the videos is getting to chat with y'all about who's who could be getting upgraded and downgraded in the show. Let's talk about some guys that are maybe flying under the radar. Who's pretty cheap in the market right now that's got a good shot of getting upgraded? Let's chat about it down in the comment section below. As always, if you enjoyed the video, definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Until next time, though, I'll catch y'all around.